Hi there. Senior year ticket is exactly what you're looking for. You just need to visit our website right now to get the latest information and prices. What are you waiting for? Just give us a visit right now. Have a good day. Thanks everybody so much for joining me. This is Matthew Sweezy, and we are going today to talk about the future of marketing really in 2016. And I really want to kind of make this a prediction, not necessarily a prediction because you're going to have a lot of marketing people tell you, you know, here's the new channels, here's the new things you need to check out, here's where the hidden leads are. But really, I want, to, I want this time together to be talking about marketing fundamentals and, and the change in the roles and the trends that we need to be aware of. Uh, and really, when we start this, I want you guys to understand that this is going to be based off of really trying to help us answer this following question. And we asked 5,000 B2B marketers, you know, what is the number one problem that you face? And really, they all said how to keep up with the trends and drive more higher quality leads. And like I said, just following the, the, the little trends on channels and the changes to SEO, those things we have to know about. But I'm going to talk about something a little bit deeper, a little bit bigger. Um, and once again, you know, you'll be able to, to go through this presentation at your own leisure later on, but I'm going to kind of jump right into it and talk about one of the, the number one things that we must be aware of is this idea of trust and how important it is for us as marketers. Now, this is why I want you guys to think about this. First off, powerful moments. Every consumer has a mobile device, and each one of those mobile devices is so powerful, hence we end up with this term, the empowered consumer. But what I want us to really understand is it's not the empowered consumer that is going to be the problem we face in 2016 moving forward. Rather, it is what they have learned to do with that empowered device. Uh, and let me kind of break this down into one really simple word. It's called heuristics. Heuristic is, is the way that you self-teach yourself something. So if I was to ask you, has anybody ever taught you how to use Google, you would say no, yet you know how to use Google to find and essentially harness more computing power than all of NASA had in 1969 to land a man on the moon. You can, within a split second, understand if a website provides you with any value. And this heuristic behavior really boils down to a marker that we will not have a person for more than 1.7 pages on our website. Let me repeat that. The average amount of pages that a buyer or a consumer will visit on your website is 1.7. That is a heuristic behavior. That is not because your website is bad. That is because Google has taught them if at first you don't succeed, go back to Google. So I want you guys to kind of think about that. This is the biggest problem that we are going to face moving forward into the future. It's not the empowered buyer. It's infinite noise. And I want you to think about this in one really simple way. The way that we get to a consumer is through what we call mediated channels. Every one of those mediated channels, whether it be Facebook, email, Twitter, uh, maybe be display advertisement, those are all going to be managed by algorithms, and they're going to be devices. By 2020, there will be seven connected devices for every person on Earth. The problem is not that they want content and I have to create content because the empowered buyer wants content. The problem you're going to face is how do I even get my content in front of that empowered buyer because all of these different channels that they have are mediating that noise, and it's only going to allow the most relevant, most contextual things through. And that means we have to be relevant and contextual. The, the other thing I want you to think about is ad blocking. Ad blocking is not a big deal in the fact that it is a software. It is rather a big deal that it is being used. What we should realize is the fact that consumers are saying, hey, I hate your advertising so much, I'm going to go out of my way to install a technology to stop you from actually doing that. There is no do not call list for the Internet. Rather, there's ad blocking software. Now, this all comes back to helping us understand the psychology of marketing and really getting back to the idea of what we actually have to do. And Google says it quite simply. It is a path to purpose. People understand the power of the Internet so much and are finding their purpose by going on there and exploring. We must understand what that purpose is if we are to actually then break through and get to them with our messages. And here's the purpose. It's quite simply self-discovery. This is the highest form of value that the Internet provides. Mass discovery, or excuse me, mass publication is the lowest form of value. That's a quote from a guy named David Weinberger from Harvard. Now, let's talk about.